Hey guys, wow, it's been two months since my last upload. Siri, how long has it actually been since I've uploaded on Jesse Lane Guitar? And has anyone really noticed? Jesse, it's been 2.233 months since your last upload on Jesse Lane Guitar. Wow. And no, nobody really cares about your videos. What the heck, man? <laughs> Anyways, here's Learn a Folk Guitar Lick number four, epic title. Anyways, here's learn a folk guitar lick number four because I've made three in the past. So here's what it sounds like if you want to stick around. I'd love to have you for this video. It's going to be really fun. Two, three, four. So like I always say, you can make this your own. It's completely up to you how you want to do this, but ultimately I'm going to use these shapes to make this little lick, right? Pretty cool, right? All of these shapes on this lick is just gonna be these three fingers. Your first finger is just gonna kind of be hanging. So the first part, we're gonna put our second finger here on the 10th fret, that D note. Then we're gonna take our third finger and put it right here on the 11th fret of the G string. Then we're gonna put our pinky on the 12th fret of the B string. You remember your first finger is just hanging, so don't worry about that. And you're gonna get this, this six chord, it's like a D6, I think, of, um, like a shape. So moving down, you can move this. And I'm not exactly sure what, what this is, but it could be like a D major ninth or something like that. But it's just a beautiful chord that I'm actually moving these two in as well. So second and third finger are stacked on the same fret, which is the, the ninth fret. And then your pinky is gonna go here on the 10th fret B string. And your first finger again is just hanging. So, so, so far we got Let's just get these shapes down first and then we'll move into like the picking stuff. The next shape, and this is the only other shape, this whole lick. This is like a really standard, just all on the same fret, sixth string, third string, and second string, I should say, E string, G string, and B string, all on the same fret, first finger's just hanging. Your A string is just muted under like this, this finger here. And you can even add, this is fun, this is a bonus tip, Add your first finger here on the fifth fret of the D string. Like this would be, if I played that D string on the seventh fret with by flattening this finger, I'd be making like a B minor seventh. But I believe if I take this note that I can't really get to, but just slide it down in theory, it'd be like a, a B minor uh, flat six or something, I don't know but it's so cool. You can even hammer that on. All right, I'm not gonna drag this tutorial out too long, but those are all the shapes. The other two, your A and your G, are the same six. I'm gonna call it the sixth shape because it's like a D6 kind of thing or whatever. So D6, and then you have, because the root is here on this uh, 10th fret, D, then you have A, and then you have G, right? And it's all the same shape. G6, A6, D6, whatever this crazy chord is. You can even add that same kind of like first finger two frets down on the D string. And you can even go, that's super cool. Can't really do that here, it's not really a way to put your first finger down. So I'm doing this little plucking thing, I'm going, can you see? Ba -da -da -da. So sixth string and then hammer on that fourth string right there. And that's the ninth fret, fourth string that I'm hammering on. And it's just the same shape, the same shape at the beginning. So, and then right to that next uh, shape. And I'm gonna go, it's kind of like that little John Mayer. On my right hand, I'm, I'm muting, sorry about the glare. I'm muting the other strings other than this second string. So this palm is kind of muting everything and I'm, I'm kind of fl flipping down 
all the strings till like until I get to this the second string. I don't want that G string. I, I want to kind of mute that, but just enough, but not too much, just to where it rings out. So that was bad. Right there. That's a skill you might have to kind of develop. But the next part is going to be a B minor. Okay, I don't know why I zoom out, just keep it interesting. You can add that first finger in there. I don't remember exactly what I was doing in the intro, but this is like, make it your own. I'm just giving you a bunch of little tactics to make this like completely your own thing. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be huge. Go straight to this A6, don't worry about this whole unless you want to throw it in there with the first finger, but pretty much just go straight from the B minor to the A, stick with me here, and then you can go the same little uh, second string, like muting all these, and then you're gonna to go to the G, and you can do what you want from there. You can go to a D, you know, a D chord with like an F sharp in the bass kind of deal. Okay, so the whole thing is gonna look like this. Uh, play it with me if you can. Okay, you've officially made it to the end of the video. Congratulations, this is amazing. It was so good seeing your beautiful faces again here on Jesse Lane Guitar. I really appreciate you watching and check out my vlog channel because I've been actually posting on there. Like I just went to Iceland and it was awesome with two other friends and I vlogged the whole thing and there's waterfalls and there was drone footage. And I spent so much time editing those things. So I appreciate it if you go over, check that out. It'll be like one of the first links in the description as always. I'll see you next time. Well, not as always, because I missed like two months, but I'll probably be making some more guitar videos as I come up with this whole fun stuff. Thanks so much. See you next time.